What's up guys? Welcome to the Toy Box Unboxing brought to you by Break Room Blitz. This is Adan and I'll be your tour guide, your friendly neighborhood tour guide on this General Grievous by uh, the Disney Store. This is the Elite Series and I must say I've been so anxious to get my hands onto one of these. Finally, I was able to win it in an eBay auction for $39.50. Typically, these things go for about $24.99. So, I mean, I'm not too keen on paying more than the retail value on this one, but uh, being that this is just a spectacular figure, I was more than you know happy to actually win it for as much as I did. Um, I haven't seen any of these sell for under $50, so, uh, I definitely had an opportunity and I uh, jumped at it, which I think you sh definitely should if you ever see this figure come across your way. And, uh, I mean, taking the tour around, uh, you know, I love that they give you kind of like a little background right here if you want to pause the video and read that. It um, gives you a breakdown of General Grievous. And this uh, now this box here is uh, a little bit bigger than uh, uh, some of these other Elite Series Star Wars ones. Um, so just as a comparison, uh, we've got uh, this one, and uh, you know I was uh, able to pick up this other uh, Boba Fett one as well. Um, I actually picked that up through the Disney store. Um, shipping was a little pricey, so it came out to about the same price, thirty-eight dollars. Um, but uh, I mean, just co compare the box sizes. Obviously, you see that uh, the General Grievous one is a little bit bigger, and uh, the angle the boxes kind of see that as well and if you're more into the uh, black series ones I also have this uh, <laughs> nemesis of that now this box one it's a, a slightly taller as you can tell um, the black series is on the uh, right side there but uh, there you can kind of see that it stands a little taller but it is definitely uh, you know a, a lot less wider than than that and uh, side comparison you have a lot more room in these uh, black series ones which is you know why I like collecting these it's a six inch figure that just doesn't take so much space up um, so be sure to keep your eye out on the uh, other videos I'll be doing unboxing videos for each of those as well uh, but uh, back to our main point of focus alright so I will open this guy up This looks like it just slides right out. There we have it. I'll set that over here. And we've got this red background. Set that off to the side there. And you know, he comes with these four lightsabers that look just awesome. So we'll just undo these here. Oh, and there we have it. So, taking off the, one of these last zip ties for his lower arm, I can see, yeah, there goes his arm. So that just happened. That disconnected right there, okay? This this arm. All I was doing was untying the zip tie and that fell off. His cape is already falling off right here. Uh, but he has a zip tie in the middle of his back here. Alright, so once you get him out of there, um, well, we've got, uh, I've got two more around his upper thighs here. Just kind of just sits him in there, cradles him in that packaging. Uh, there are so many zip ties with this. It's at least two for every single one of his limbs. And then around the torso. And... It's, it's not the most convenient of packaging, as you could imagine. Alright, so that's General Grievous, and he is out of the packaging. Alright, um, now, right off the bat, um, we got two arms over here, and this arm right over here just, uh, it just disconnected. Um, and I was barely getting it out of the packaging, but I see we got like this bo double ball joint. Um, so we got this main ball joint and then this smaller one right underneath it. And yeah, I, I just see that I can probably just snap that in there. Let me try this. 
You know, I have no idea how it came out if it's this impossible to get back in there. I honestly don't think that it was actually fully connected because this thing is just an absolute pain to put back in. I would recommend if you are planning on messing anything with his arms now, take a look at his arms first of all. I'm able to just like swing this arm fully around and so we've got this other ball joint. Let's see, you can see right there. It's just right under his armpit or like really anywhere. Um, but I cannot, for the life of me, um, figure out a way of putting that back in place. All right. So that, that these ball joints for these smaller ball joints for the arms are such a pain. All right, so I'm gonna leave him right there and let me uh, get to the rest of this packaging right here. So we've got his cape and his cape actually just drapes around him. Um, there's no piece that actually attaches. It just kind of hangs on his shoulders and then um, we've got this piece that goes around his neck and this little opening there. So that's just gonna kind of hang on him. Um, you know what, in this cape, the detail is so nice and it's got this like beautiful like red with shading in it it's just nice like it has like some kind of a black wash in it um and uh, the back of it I, again it's just like it's got this nice wave to it it's uh a little flexible could bend it a little bit um but uh yeah it's something that you'll find on every cave i got some blemishes right there that's okay but I'm sure that they make something like this to help him stand up because there is no way that he is standing up uh, in like all these different poses. Let's just drape this around him real quick. Yeah, I totally see that happening. Yep, that's exactly what that was for. All right, so I've got this uh, stand that comes in there. And uh, this is a Star Wars stand. We got one little peg right here for his foot. Um, hmm. Kind of wish he would have came with a bigger stand almost. Um, makes sense. And that's going to go under just the one foot. So we only have one peg for one foot. Not possible to have it under the next one. I don't know why they would decide on doing that. Just drilling a hole. All right. So we got, <laughs> we've got a, a huge stand for his foot just the one foot and then we've got the cape all of these elements I can just tell are made to balance this guy and even with that he's gonna be restricted with his movement but let's move on um, so I've got these lightsabers and let's take a look at these here lightsabers so fun We've got these two blue and green lightsabers. These look pretty sweet. Very cool. I like it. I like it. This looks like Luke's lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. This one I'm not too sure. Maybe the Obi Wan's. But let's uh, compare those to these other two that we got going on. All right, two more lightsabers here. And let's take a look at all these. All right, so we got green and blue lightsabers, and they are each pretty much different. All right, so we'll just start with these arms over here, and let's see what's the best way to hold this. So his hands are really open. Okay, so take a look at that. Okay, we've got this lightsaber. All right, so those are really just not gonna grip. I don't see this happening. Okay, so these lightsabers, they're gonna take some work to do. Um, here, we'll put this one. Now, th this bottom hand is just like way more square, as you can see. And I don't know how he's going to be able to hold anything. It's going to have to be these thicker lightsabers for sure. Or maybe not. Okay. Well, what a headache.
<laughs> like really, like who designs this stuff, man? <laughs> or should I say, who engineers this stuff? <laughs> All right, well, there's that one. So we got those two arms. We got two more to go, and this guy's just falling over. <laughs> this guy's never gonna be able to hold this stuff. He can't keep himself up. All right, well. Now this hand here, let's take a look at that one. This one, at least it's like a little bit more closed in. And his feet, he's doing the splits right now. All right, this hand is a little bit more forgiving because at least it, uh, it holds it, it kind of grips it a little bit easier. Uh, his bottom hand is again just open like a square, and he, he's just all over the place. His chicken legs. But there you have it. I mean, that is Grievous, and he is just such a pain to work with. His lightsabers are very flimsy. Each one of his joints are just flimsy. Maybe I got a bad batch. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> again, uh, I, I wanted this toy so bad. I mean, the paint is awesome. Uh, the materials feel good. But each one of his joints are just, like, collapsing over him. Um, let's take a look at what that looks like next to one of these other figures. I'm Okay, hey, great. So, just as a size comparison, I've got this uh, Black Series Obi Wan, and uh, there you can see that uh, he's just a little shorter than General Grievous. There, got about a, maybe an inch and a half almost. But uh, you know what? This Black Series one is way more sturdier than this General Grievous. You know, for all the hype, I think that this General Grievous just was not up to par. He's fallen all over the place. He's a nightmare uh, to even work with. I mean, he's just absolutely terrible of a figure. That's I'm just so disappointed. I'm glad I did not spend you know more than I did for him. Um, I just don't understand just the uh, concept. But uh, there you have it, size comparison, Obi-Wan, General Grievous, have at it. Well, that's going to do it for me. Uh, make sure to keep an eye out. I'm going to post another video of the unboxing for this Obi-Wan figure. And uh, that's going to be it. This is uh, Adan, Break Room Blitz, Toy Box Unboxing. Let me know what you think. Later.